One of my favorite features of the Nikon D300S is the interval timer function for recording a time lapse. Here's an example. I set the camera to record one photo every five seconds for 15 minutes. And then I use my computer to put them all together as a time lapse movie. Shooting a time lapse with the D300 is easy to do with the interval timer shooting menu. To shoot a time lapse, start by making sure the camera is framed up perfectly on the shot that you want, and locked down on a nice sturdy tripod that won't move. Now, I always shoot a test shot to make sure everything looks good. And if it does, then I take note of the shutter speed and aperture that the camera used, and then switch to the manual exposure mode and dial in those exact settings manually. Why? so the camera doesn't change the exposure settings during the time lapse. Even a slight shutter speed change or an aperture change in the middle of the time lapse will ruin the effect. So manual is the only safe exposure mode. Now go back to the interval timer shooting menu. Your first decision is whether you want to begin shooting the time lapse immediately after you finish setting it up or do you want to program the camera to begin at a certain time of day? Normally, you'll choose now by pressing the right arrow button. How much time do you want to elapse between each photo the camera takes? That's called the interval. The longest interval is one frame per 24 hours, and the shortest one is one frame per second. I'll choose one second for this example. Now you have to decide how many photos you want the camera to take during the time lapse. 999 is the maximum. Some things to consider when setting up a time lapse are how much time do you want to wait around for the time lapse to finish? How long will your battery last? You don't want it to die in the middle of your time lapse. And is your memory card going to fill up before all the pictures have been recorded? I'm going to choose 10 frames for this example, so it finishes quickly. But in a real situation, 10 frames probably wouldn't be enough to create a very interesting time lapse. Now I select on and step away from the camera and let it do its thing. Now, if for any reason you want to cancel the time lapse in midstream, you'll have to turn the camera off. When the camera is finished taking the time lapse, it will revert back to the normal shooting mode. Each frame of the time lapse is just a normal standalone full frame photograph, just like any other picture that the camera takes. Now you can transfer them to your computer and use whatever software program you want, such as QuickTime, to string them all together as a movie, like this one I shot earlier. To get more great digital photography tips for your camera, be sure to check out larkbooks.com digital. Thank you for watching and have fun shooting.